Well, like I said, it's a first period penalty. I hope right. something like that will be not called yes. later on in the siege if it's like a third period. First period, you know what? I'm not too bad with it, but we'll see what happens. Now, Carlisle shoots. Tipana gets a piece of that. They hit it up front. There's a chance. They shoot. They score. Teddy McGee on the backhander. Scores on a power play. Eight seconds in, and it's 1 0 Wellington. Well, that certainly put the Wellington crowd into it here, Al. For Zach Elson, who had a, some key goals in the playoffs so far, but a turnover there. And he gives a big hit there to Arcan, but a turnover. It's there. They're even going to get it back, and they score. Oh, what a play there for the Dukes. And it's finished off by Mitch Mendoza, and it's 2 0 Wellington. Well, you want a big goal. It's Court. Takes a shot, it's blocked. And the Dukes will have a chance to clear, and they do, and they're going to go shorthanded. Martin coming up. He takes a shot. Oh, it's off the post. Tipan looks behind him. They shoot, they score, they put it in. I think the last touch might even by Lawson. Shorthanded goal, 3 0 Wellington. Well, you talk about it, Al. Everything going in the way of the Wellington Dukes, and certainly that one did. Oh, it's over the net. The Raiders come close. Now it's Malella. Gets it over to Zach Elson. Elson shoots. Goes right to shoot. They score! Derek McVay in front. Thanks home to Garbage, and the Raiders are on the board. It's 3 1. Well, Derek McVay picks up a sixth goal of the playoffs here, but what a great push by the Raiders here. There's a big hit there as Payet puts his man to the board, Saprika. Now it's Arcan from behind the net. Arcan over for Pucci. Doesn't get much on a rebound, shoots. And Tipano makes the save on Saprika as the net comes off its moorings. Well, a great save by Tripano, but you know. Over to Nixon. Trying to get back steady. Leaves it for McJanet. McJanet belly for that puck. That McJanet back to Josh Nixon. He takes a shot. There's a rebound on the belly away for it. There's Nixon coming in, he's battling. One, two chance, they finally blow it dead. And now Nixon's in a pushing match there. Let's see if anything comes out of this. Well, you know, I'm not sure. Crocker has it. Jordan Crocker drops it back for Elson. Cross for Jake Payette. Over to Elson. Back to Crocker, Crocker moves up. Over to Payette, he shoots, he scores! The money man, Jake Payette, picks the corner. Power play goal, Raiders within one, it's 3-2. Well, Jacob Payet's seventh goal of the playoffs. You know what, Greg Walters was watching. To Elson, back to Payette. To Elson, back to Payette. He walks up, he takes a shot, save! There's a rebound! Raiders trying, they're jamming away! Elson gets it back to Payette, the net is off, it's Moorings, and a whistle goes. Gets it there for Elson, Elson drops it back. As Payette pitches up, Payette takes a shot, there's a rebound, of course, swings and misses. And back come the Dukes. Now it's Court with it. Andrew Court for George Georgetown. Court over to Cho. Shoot, saved by Capriotti. Malella trying to get there. Cho pitches up. They keep it in. 30 seconds left. Down deep. Comes back, Payette. Keeps it alive. Down for Andrew Court. They get it back. Oh, it's kept alive by Crocker. Crocker spins back to Payette. Over to Austin Cho. Cho to Crocker. There's a step, they score! Bailey Malala scores with 16 seconds left, and it's 3-3. Oh my heavens. 16.1 seconds to go. The Raiders tie it up. What an outstanding puck movement they had out there. Full pressure, Trepano in, out of the net. Yep. Maybe it's trying to give him some luck there. That Erie Otters mask he's still wearing today. Went to the Memorial Cup last year. Won the OHL championship, but we're one Game short, losing to Windsor in the final. Now, there's the Dukes trying to battle hard. Picked up by Paul, can't get it out. Intercepted. Now it's Carlisle with it. Carlisle gets into the slot, takes a shot. There's a chance, they score! Mitchell Mendonca ends the game, and the Dukes steal game one. 4-3 over the Raiders, and have a one nothing series lead. Well, a bit of a miscue by Troy Campano there, but a big break for the Wellington Dukes. Not only did they get a 3 0 lead, they've uh, come back and responded in overtime to take game one on the road. And yeah, 4.28 into the first overtime, Mendonca is the hero. 